Fans called out Nikita Dragon for lying in her latest interview. Before I get into the tea, I just want to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Nikita Dragon, Weston, Philip DeFranco, or anyone else involved in this story. This video is simply meant to report on the news and give some insight on the situation. In order to understand what's happening now, we need to go back in time. In 2015, Nikita Dragon moved to Los Angeles and enrolled in a beauty marketing and product development program at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. They offer a two-year associate and a four-year bachelor degree program. On June 13th, Nikita posted a video from her graduation where she received her diploma and wrote, Uneducated? Dropout? Beauty but no brains? Don't know her. Not too long ago, I strutted across stage to receive my bachelor's in beauty business and marketing. I attended school full-time when I moved to LA and trust me when I say everyone was not expecting me to finish. I was living a Hannah Montana lifestyle, going to class by day and living my internet princess fantasy at night. I never shared who I really was or what I did. Sometimes they would even present on beauty influencers, me, not knowing I was sitting in class. Once they found out, people became vicious thinking I was stuck up or I had an advantage. There was so many times I wanted to quit, but I wanted to prove to myself that I could do it despite what everyone else said. I ended up graduating first in my class, and now only a year later created my own successful beauty company. On August 22nd, YouTuber Weston posted a video about his experience being in the same program as Nikita. She only did the associates program. I know Miss Nikita wanted to make everyone believe that she did the bachelor's program, but no, she did not. She just did the two-year program and not the bachelor's program like she stated. He said that even though she was a little standoffish, the students wanted her to feel welcomed. And like, just because she was an influencer or whatever, we didn't want her to feel any different and we wanted her to really feel included. So we would always help her with her homework, her projects, even a lot of the girls I know in the program would help her with quizzes. He also said the program never made a presentation about her and none of their classmates were vicious towards her. If anyone became vicious, it was you all coming for us, kind of demanding us to give you your homework and help you with quizzes and projects because you were never really at school and always like freaking out last minute to get your stuff done. He said she didn't actually graduate first in class and when he commented on her video, she blocked him. It's just really crazy to read this post and see how she's claiming to be first in class and done multiple degrees like all on her own when we all know the real story and we were all in there and know the truth. And that comment got like a lot of likes from people who went to fit him, outside people. And before I know it, just like that, blocked, deleted, removed. And she even went in and checked who liked that comment and started blocking everybody, which was a lot of people who helped her. He ended his video by saying people shouldn't always believe what they see. I just know there's been so much going on and I don't really want to add to the fuel and add to the fire, but I'm just sick of people just using people and just hopping over people to just get further in their career. I just don't really think that's right and I would never do that personally. Several people commented on the video, calling Nikita a liar. Nikita is a compulsive liar. She makes up scenarios and a life she does not have. I went to high school with her. She claims to be from a small town in Virginia, when really we lived in a freaking suburb of DC, a very liberal and accepting area. I just can't understand how people would still believe her after all the fake boyfriend nonsense, LMAO. However, others defended Nikita, saying people should worry about their own lives. How about you worry about your own life? People love bringing up the past to make people look bad. Jealousy is a disease. Getting clout off Nikita now, are we? Hmm, maybe we should just learn a little from Jeffree Star, and before we get into a scandal, shut your mouth and mind your business. Thanks, sweetie. To be honest, who cares? She lied. This happened years ago. Why bring it up now? How does it benefit you or anyone in any way besides exposure? I don't care for her character, but the she did didn't affect you graduating. On October 2nd, YouTuber Philip DeFranco interviewed Nikita and brought up her school controversy. You go to this school. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, apparently you say that you wait, I got to look you. You graduated top of your your class. You uh, lived this Hannah Montana lifestyle mm -hmm. where no one knew who you were. Mm -hmm. But then you'd kind of kind of go home and you're living out this fantasy. Mm -hmm. um, and I was going to ask you about that initially. And then I saw that there are claims that that is not true, that mm -hmm. people knew who you were, um, that uh, I think you also said that classmates were vicious, but mm -hmm. they said 
There was one in particular that said that if there was anyone, it was you, and also that you didn't graduate top of the class. Nikita said she wrote that she graduated first from her class because she was first to receive her diploma and address what she meant by living a Hannah Montana lifestyle. The transformation between me as Nikita and me as Nikita Dragon was way more flip-flop because I didn't have the surgeries. I didn't have just all the regalia that it takes to be Nikita Dragon mm -hmm. on when I went to class at 8 a.m. Okay. Right? So I would go to class, no makeup, like my real hair in a bun, like not really caring. Phil interrupted her and asked her to clarify if some of her classmates actually knew who she was. So are you saying that when you were living the Hannah Montana lifestyle, it wasn't that nobody knew it was just that in general yes. you would not assume nikita said some knew and others didn't until her classmates had to interview an influencer and her teacher exposed her my teacher came to me and she was like nikita like why aren't you using your friends why aren't you using your contacts why aren't you doing this that or whatever and i was like hey like i just don't really feel comfortable with that like you know da -da -da -da, blah, blah, blah. and it just, that was it sure but then obviously my teacher had gone to my other classmate and then it just got spread. Cause she mm. was just like, hey, I think you should really talk to Nikita because you know, this is da 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 da. Nikita later said people were mad because she wrote that she graduated not too long ago and skipped over the word bachelors when rereading her caption. So this is another part that they were mad about. I said, not too long ago. I, uh, I, I strutted across the stage to receive my business and beauty and marketing. I attended school, da da da, this whole thing. But when I said not too long ago, they were angry because they were like, what, this was two years ago, sure. how dare you? But I'm like, if we look up the definition of not too long ago, it's <laughs> under five years. She said she's sorry that people misunderstood what she wrote. Phil said she shouldn't take what she writes on Instagram lightly. It's an Instagram caption, but it is also something that you say to how many millions of people follow you at this point? It's, it's only says, I'm just it's saying, only says 55 so, on my so, account. So. Several people were upset that some issues weren't addressed. Slightly upset that the bachelor's degree wasn't addressed. I truly didn't believe anything she said in regards to the whole graduation thing. She literally skips over where it says, my bachelor's in business and beauty. Here are some things that was missed on the graduated first in class issue. She's saying she has a bachelor's degree, but others said it's associates. When she was called out in her Instagram post by her classmates and the actual top of the class, she blocked all of them. I mean, why leave those out? How are you gonna do all that research and not bring up the original beauty community drama that she was also a part of? One person said they were at Nikita's graduation. LOL, yeah, I was at her graduation. She didn't get a bachelor's. I did though, in the same program. She may have walked first. If she sat first in line, they don't go in alphabetical order. But other people said they were impressed by the interview. I'm really impressed with how well-spoken she is. I have no knowledge of her outside of Phil's coverage, and I was surprised to find that she was interesting and entertaining to listen to. Great choice for a guest. What a pleasant surprise. Nikita is a fascinating woman. I had no idea who she was until now. One of my son's best friends is a trans woman, and I know firsthand from her experiences how difficult being a trans woman really is. But good for Nikita being Nikita. And now I'm going to find her channel and start following her. I had no idea that she was trans. I went to look her up for more information, I was genuinely shocked. Props to you, Nikita, for always staying true to yourself and being the strong, fearless woman that you were always meant to be. That seems to be the end of the situation for now. So, what's the big issue? Nikita misrepresenting her education and allegedly calling the people that helped her vicious. The way that Nikita misrepresented her education promotes the idea that people need a bachelor's degree to be successful. This could be discouraging to some people, considering college costs are rising, and 83% of Americans can't even afford to attend. According to Value Penguin, a personal finance site, the average annual cost of attending a four-year public college program in-state is $25,290, whereas out-of-state is $40,940. In comparison, the cost of attending a four-year private college program is $50,900. In the United States, a bachelor's degree has become a common requirement for many jobs that didn't previously require one, though some corporations make exceptions. And the culture around a mandatory college degree seems to be changing. During an American Workforce Policy Advisory Board meeting, Apple CEO Tim Cook said the company never really thought that a college degree was the thing that you had to do well, and that they always tried to expand their horizons. According to CNBC, some of the wealthiest and most influential entrepreneurs in the world dropped out of college, including Steve Jobs, 
Bill Gates, and Mark Zuckerberg. PayPal co-founder and billionaire Peter Thiel even created a fellowship that awards recipients a two-year $100,000 grant for dropping out of college to build a product or service. And a Wall Street Journal reporter wrote that while dropping out of college to start a company was once considered risky, it's now seen as a badge of honor, evidence of ambition and focus. Very few dropouts become tycoons, but failure today often means going back to school or taking a six-figure job at a big tech company. Nikita not mentioning her classmates helping her graduate is part of the American ideal of effortless success. Personal finance coach Ramit Sethi said that America loves to celebrate effortless success, so if you talk about the exact way you're successful, whether it's in dating, money, or fitness, the backlash comes quickly. He added that every successful person has unglamorous habits that shape their attitude and set them up for success, such as spending thousands of hours on an activity. Author Jim Cullen said there are two types of effortless success. First, economic riches that accrue from gambling, and second, celebrity success that comes from being beautiful or talented. He said that while hard work still matters, it's only relevant up to a certain point. However, it's also important to not lie when discussing your success. In a New York Times blog, entrepreneur Rebecca Campbell shared that an investor told her the real secret to success is to never, ever, ever tell a lie, and that lying is the number one reason people fail. Not because telling lies makes you a bad person, but because the act of lying plucks you from the present, preventing you from facing what is really going on in your world. Every time you over-report a metric, under-report a cost, are less than honest with a client or a member of your team, you create a false reality and you start living in it. Nikita acknowledges she's a role model and has previously said having a voice comes with responsibility. As a successful YouTuber turned entrepreneur, she should be mindful that what she writes, even on Instagram, could influence one of the biggest decisions people will ever make, attending college. Success shouldn't be determined by whether or not someone chooses to go. And if they do, it shouldn't matter if they receive an associate's or bachelor's degree. Nikita is one of the many examples. She got her start on YouTube before attending college, received small brand deals at the time, and now runs a successful beauty company. She shouldn't be ashamed of her education, and society shouldn't condemn her either. What do you think about this story? Do you think people have the right to be upset? Let me know in the comments below.